morning everybody. How is all going today? It's uh, going back to winter a bit, but it's a glorious day. I mean, most of these flowers are finished now, but you can just see by the amount of uh, dead ones and the amount of live ones that are still coming. This uh, fish pond and the plants really put on an excellent flower show for us this year. Absolutely beautiful. And the ground cover over there is, that needs thinning out at the end of its flowering season this year. But um, then we've got this old English lavender, it's an original lavender. You can see all the flower shoots coming up on that. I mean this garden's just going to be continuous flowers this year, marvellous. And there's a the choppy dogs down around the corner there. He likes that hole. We fill it in and he digs it out. But that's me day. All right, my new computer got here and we quickly put it in the shed and by quickly, I mean quickly, we've still got to pull all these old communication cables out. All those communication cables out over that side there are going. Um, the, the link up there, all that's going to get cleaned up. They're all coming out. This is basically what it looks like. As you can see, let me see if I can get this camera in here. Watch out for the bad camera angle for a minute. Uh, I have to put his door in. Okay, as you can see, there's the top of it. Try and get a bit more light in here. Now this goes down, both the classics are plugged in just here, both of them. And then going down to the antennas at the bottom okay oh. so um, looks a lot neater a lot lot neater um, for now I've got it running off the well I've already got this uh, 150 watt modified sine wave um, power supply sitting just here and because these units have their own power supply. Um, modified sine wave's fine for running that. Um, you really only need pure sine wave to run delicate things like electric clocks, um, microwave ovens and that sort of thing. Oh, okay, here we go. This is my fourth attempt at making this video, YouTube. I tell you what, it um, can be quite trying some days. You got all the school kids walking past and the choppy dogs going mad and then halfway through the video Jeremy logs in and oh um, yeah and I had to restart all the modems because of the con they'd slowed down you know I ha haven't done it for a week so they got a it's good to restart your modems every now and then anyway that being said number four take four Let's try and get on with this one, shall we? All right. Okay, so there it is running the code in the shed. Uh, that's the actual program there that runs on the computer. All this at the back is just checking code. We run into some problems out at Carina Fields, which is why we wanted to do the test out there. Jeremy worked hard to solve it. It was an NBN issue um, with their satellite. Um, I honestly think it might have been quicker to put the, 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 the information packets on a go enter and just send it backwards and forwards than the NBN satellite internet out there. But anyway, he had to, um, it kept on throwing all these faults because the satellite was just too slow and kept dropping connection and oh God, what a pain in the butt. Sorted. All right, we've coded, uh, Jeremy coded around it and um, change the speeds of things and we've done it over the whole program which means we've got to run the bug tests again and there it is running you know there's nearly 40,000 lines of code or something in this um, program it's a pretty massive program let's have a look uh, what it uses which is um, why I've got the computer I've got where are we there we go open this one here Oh, there it is okay now this is an i5 dual core computer four threads you can see it there 
Okay, let's go over to processes. All right, we've got the AC DC uh, power monitor at the top there. You can see it's using three to four. Oh, well, you can see it changes all over the place depending what it's doing. You can see what it's using. It's using bugger all. The um, program we use to debug is pretty power hungry. It's using 12 to 15 percent of the CPU and um, 800 and no, 900, there you go, megabytes of uh, RAM. Um, so yeah, I mean this computer is pretty, pretty quick. It's pretty quick. It'll do this job. No worries at all. No worries at all. Alright, so that's just a bit of a look there.